This is Cincy Born Ready here, back with another episode of Austin 316 Showcase for WWE 2K16. We are halfway through the showcase, pretty much, 48%, close enough. Um, in this one, we're going to face The Undertaker in a Buried Alive match. Um, no certain stipulations or anything, just... We're trying to get a little bit of payback from him costing us the championship against The Rock, I think it was, in the last match. Um, but yeah, the uh, Mr. McMahon had organized this between uh, Stone Cold and Undertaker, just trying to, I guess, punish Stone Cold a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to the uh, playlist for this series in the description below as, as well as my uh, social le media links um, if you enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe also, also if there's any uh, series you'd like to see leave those in the comments below I respect the fact that they put the old entrances and stuff into the uh, like showcases and stuff like that for the older characters, versions of characters and stuff. But to be honest, I'm really glad that I grew up around the era where they had more like lights and stuff in the uh, entrances. Because, I mean, these are alright, it's just... They get kind of boring just watching them walk to the ring and stuff. It's not... I know it's supposed to be like scary or whatever, but... I really like... Probably my favorite entrance of his... Um... Which of course his best entrance for me was the one of the Wrestlemania ones that he had, but um... For Undertaker, the, my favorite one was when he walked in with like... He had the, the hat on his... I think it was like a not cowboy hat but like a like a hat on his head and he had his big old coat and then he walked to the ring took his coat off took his hat off and then did the whole well, roll in his eyes disqualifications in this match. The match ends when one man is literally buried alive. Oh, look at this. Austin ramming the Undertaker into that barrier. And the Undertaker using whatever he can, whatever he wants, and it's all legal. The referee just gonna stand back. That's all he can do right now is stand back and watch the carnage. I guess Stone Cold kind of deserved that. He kind of he flipped him off, and evidently that's all you have to do to get somebody upset and come towards you in this game. His strike hits nothing but air. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Steve Austin making his statement as we speak. Well, we're on the move here. Hopefully this won't be too challenging to get him to the ring. 
<laughs> he's not going anywhere. He's just like getting stuck. It's not even throwing him into the gate. With that dominating strength, why Undertaker's considered a phenom. Fell down to the ground like that. It don't get more painful than that. No, not again. I'm not sure I can watch this. <laughs> it's funny how if you don't have a barrier or anything to throw them into, they just fall like that. Like, what in the world? That's crazy animation. I've never seen that before. A spectacular counter Got him with a reversal slap. That's some cruel and unusual damage being perpetrated. Well, we're on the move here. So I got a couple reversals early, which I don't know why. There, it's all the way basically gone right now, but I didn't. I only used two reversals, and it's already gone. I guess it's because of the injury he gave me at the beginning of the match. So I'll throw him into the match. Now I just have to uh, do a death press. Forget how to do it again. So I so I gotta run at him and get a signature. I got a signature and uh. Run at him, push triangle. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. Mm. Nowhere. I can only imagine the Honestly, for a big man, Undertaker has is very technical, a very technical wrestler. He's really good at it. Getting reversals and stuff like that. He turns the tie. And he sits up just like he's that so easily. And he's already injured. decently injured. So I gotta do a couple more taunts to get my signature. Hopefully I can get like an Irish whip rebound or something. So I went to run at him right there and he, he was able to get his, his running uh, DDT going. Hopefully this won't take forever to do if he keeps doing that kind of stuff. Because like they said, he's pretty much controlling this match so far. I gotta get him off his feet, start getting him some more damage. And I can't really do much right now to reverse those because I don't have any reversals right now. I'm, I'm gathering them slowly but surely. So hopefully it won't. I'll be able to do this move pretty soon. Finally got me a reversal, get a little bit of separation, but then he got that uh, DDT on me again. Got to get my stamina back. Got to get my reversals back. And and if you ever need to. To get any of that stuff back, the best thing to do is just try to get outside the ring. If you get outside the ring, you can still take damage if they get you, but um, you have more help from being able to throw them into the barricades and stairs. So it's kind of to your advantage. They can't pin you outside. They can't make you tap outside. So it's it's a pretty good advantage, sort of. Plus, if you throw them out and they're on the ground for a little bit of time, you can uh, do like taunts and stuff to get your uh, mo uh, your um, thing up. There we go with the Leia's press. Thanks for what it's called. So I just have to Irish whip him into the stairs. Got to get him right back out of the ring. It's pretty easy. Most of the characters that I've played with so far, if they're like halfway in the ring... They'll be able to throw him right over the rope, no problem. Hopefully he can... Come on, get up. Get him up. Just keep turning him over. Come on, get him up. Oh, what kind of punishment? What kind of maneuver? What is it going to take to get either the Undertaker... Stomping or helps get him up, too. In the <laughs> and that time, to be put into I was perfect brain. distance. All I had but to do was throw him into the steps, and he fell. I don't get that. Well, what I'm in the world? Come on, pick him up. We can bury them. Yeah, well, we know there we go. Has had neck and in the past. 
All right, there we go. I got them. I got him thrown into the steps. Just gotta damage him now. Hopefully, I can get him almost out of the red. There we go. I couldn't tell what that actually hit. Did that hit his his ear, or did it hit the side of his head? I don't know. Hit him with that elbow. Trying to give me another signature, but I'll take the finisher. The finisher did quite a bit of damage. Because signature does a good... Uh, signatures do a good amount of damage, too. So There we go. Got him with the damage. Now I just got to get him over to the grave site. So I can uh, do one of those uh, grapple things. You gotta get the buttons right and all that kind of stuff. I don't get why I don't let you throw them into the barricades right there. In real life, they get to throw them all the time. There we go. I'm gonna try to go ahead and damage him. With some weapons and stuff, just to uh, lessen his ability to reverse me, but I don't know how he can recover after being struck like that. For me, or at least the last couple games, at least uh, the sledgehammer is the best uh, for damaging your opponent. It's just. It does a lot of damage, and it's pretty hard to reverse. Mmm, hit me with a tombstone. I don't know why he's trying to do this right there. I got him with the counter right there. I'm going to try to go get me some chairs and stuff, maybe, and knock him back down a little bit more. Cause I don't have any reversals, and uh, this is the be next best thing. Hopefully, hopefully with uh, hitting him with these chair shots, I won't have to worry as much about uh, reversals and stuff. I don't know why they make you stop at four hits with a chair shot. They've done that the last couple games, which just I don't understand why, because, I mean, yeah, I guess they do break, which I'm I'm really surprised they didn't, like, make them go away like they have in past games. Ooh, cracked him open. I am glad they have the option to use to have blood on this game. I'm really surprised they don't have more uh, blood in the show, which I guess is the whole PG part of it, but, um cracked him wide open now hopefully I can get him over there if not I'll at least get him up so I can uh, make my way over and he'll follow me over there I'll take a sledgehammer as an insurance policy just in case I need it if it lets me use it at least the buried live match on here is different than uh, it has been in previous games because usually it's you don't have to, well, you do have to climb, but usually it's on the opposite side. And you can climb up there. But it didn't let me climb up there that time, so. Mm. He's getting me damaged as much as he is. There we go. Got that reversal. Now I just got to grapple with him. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, what a battle this has been, JR. The Undertaker trying to get Steve Austin into that grave. These are career shortening matches, to oh. say the least. Austin with a right hand. Oh, wait, Undertaker teetering here. Look at this. JR! Austin with a stunner. And the Undertaker fell into the grave. Austin stuns the Undertaker. Caught him with the, the stunner down. after hitting him with the, I guess that was a gas can. The Undertaker is buried alive. Paul Bear in panic. <laughs> He's running away. Where's he going? Austin now getting out of the. Is he going after him? Getting out of harm's way. Ah, he's not down. <laughs> Should have figured. Through hellfire and brimstone, the explosion of explosions. The Undertaker crawling back up out of that grave. He's alive. The Undertaker is alive. Ooh, what is this? Now what? <laughs> what? What? Where did he come from? Good gosh. What in the hell is going on? This is... This is... Unbelievably macabre. Oh, so now I'm Kane? <laughs> okay. This is the first match that I gotta play as multiple characters. Or at least somebody other than Stone Cold. So I gotta damage him. Hey, I got a fresh character now. <laughs> he doesn't have any damage. Well, he has a little bit of damage, but not much. Hopefully they shouldn't be as as hard since I have a fresh character. Oh my. And well, Kane's pretty high overall, so. See, so used to you could go get the shovel, but shovel's on the other side and it won't let me get to it, so I gotta make do. Almost there. Just got a little bit left to do. And then I'll have him. I haven't played much with Kane. I gotta figure out his moveset and all that kind of stuff. Any it won't let me throw him into the. He's got. I'm not sure I can watch this. Straight kick mm. right to the head. Nothing fancy about that. Really Gosh, I can't hit him with anything right now. There we go. One reversal, I'm good. Ah, got me. Come on, Kane. Come on, Kane. There we go. There we go. So grapple. All right, come back here. Come back here. Oh no, Jr. These two demonic brothers are literally under some heavy. What a dysfunctional family reunion we're watching here in the spirit of live match. Undertaker and Kane. Watch out, Kane with the headbutt. Undertaker's down. He's teetering near that grave. Jr. Kane's go. Kane over the That low blow will stop any man. We go Tombstone. Nope. No wait. Oh, Kane slides out the back door. And oh. Kane now reverses the Undertaker. Tombstone. Can Kane hit the Tombstone? That's a question here. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. He pushed him in there like it was nothing. And look at this. Kane. Kane has tombstone the Undertaker. Now can somebody tell me what the hell is going on with this? What, 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 what in the world, JR? Is that a backhoe being driven in here? First a dysfunctional family reunion, and now a backhoe is being brought into play. Stone Cold Steve Austin Good. has commandeered a backhoe. Good God almighty, what's next? Dude ladies? knows how to innovate, what that's for sure. Next? This is unbelievable. And now that, that backhoe is, is going into operation here. Kane tombstoning his brother, the Undertaker, into the grave. And now Austin directing traffic wants that backhoe operator. To hey, it, it saves up, him some job. Load the uh, bucket with dirt and bury the Undertaker alive. It's the quickest way to get the dirt on the grave. Here. Austin directing traffic in it. Now what's Austin doing? I never thought Austin could beat the Undertaker in a buried alive match. Oh my God, <laughs> what? Are you 
kidding me? A couple of cold ones. What is this? A farewell party for the Undertaker? <laughs> he gave him one. It's a cold That's crazy. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Whose party is this? <laughs> he gave it to the rep. <laughs> Oh man. Good God Almighty. Thanks for I've watching. Like my life. <laughs> what a match. Hope to see you in the next one. With an assist from the big red machine Kane, Stone Cold buried the Undertaker and qualified for the 1999 Royal Rumble. But on Monday Night Raw, Mr. McMahon had a big surprise for the rattlesnake. We will now choose the very number that Austin will enter the Royal Rumble. Austin has drawn number one. This is ridiculous. Just when it looked like the WWE chairman had gotten the upper hand on Stone Cold, the tables quickly turned. Stone Cold Steve Austin will be the first man to enter the Royal Rumble. And the second man who will be entering the Royal Rumble will be Vince McMahon. The stage was now set for a truly unforgettable Royal Rumble. And here comes Austin! Mr. McMahon is running from Austin! And Austin has him in the crowd! Oh, the crowd! Hey! It was a trap! The corporate team has ambushed Mr. Stone Cold! Stone Cold was taken away in an ambulance. And he's not coming back. Wait a minute, there's an ambulance! It's Austin! Mr. McMahon! Austin's back! Snake would get one last shot at becoming the number one contender for the coveted WWE Championship. All Stone Cold had to do was take down his arch rival, Mr. McMahon, inside a steel cage.